Jane, so that that continues while he's talking for us this afternoon. So, Charlie Gay. Hello, everybody. Hello. How many people don't know what Humanity Night's brilliance is in the room? Well, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we're going to talk to you for about 20 minutes about coalition. I just suddenly decided that that's going to be the topic of the communication today. Coalition is about uh, different irrevocable skill sets and brilliance of first stages of lives coming together in a union of co-creation, of collaboration, of enforced in politics or unforced in relationships, I hope, uh, connection. And, and then coming together to co-create something that's magnificent uh, for the betterment of the whole rather than the individual parts. We find ourselves right now in this country in that place. It's a great place to be in because out of chaos comes fertility. And so I love the word chaotic emergence. Chaotic emergence. And in some, in some ways, that's where we are on the planet today. Some ways, that's where we are in the financial markets today. That's where we are in the politics of today. All these things were not, of course, at the center of who we are when we were first created as souls. All of these things were figments of our own minds and the minds of generations before us that took us into separate ways rather than into connected ways, black and white men and women, Catholic churches built by friars and Protestant churches down in Manchester for Protestants. All these things were created by other people and before our generation. And yet our generation has to co-create and come into a coalition together. Why? Because we've been given a challenge that no other generation has been gifted before. Other generations were gifted industrial revolution to bring forward, or to bring forward all the different things that have happened, the great warriors, the great soldiers, the great religious people that came forward with their religious ideas, the great creative writers and the painters. Our generation, though, has been given this gift, the challenge of choosing the destiny of our planet. And it hasn't been gifted to politicians. It hasn't been gifted to bankers to bait us into no money down mortgages or financial markets that are a hundred times multiple earnings for stock market prices that don't exist. We weren't told to think that a pound was a hundred pounds, but we just felt it was. Because generations told us and the papers told us. Now we are in this chaotic emergence. We recognize that perhaps that wasn't accurate. We recognize with our fathers and our forefathers who recognized that pensions were so important after toiling for 65 years, and yet they don't have them anymore. So what is central? What is accurate? For me, what is accurate is humanity. For those that don't know me, I've lived a life like you. I was born, I was created, I went into my childhood. In childhood I had confusions, just like each of us in this room. Confusion about who I am and who I'm not. And the confusions would lead in my twenties to some areas of compromise, compromise that I will still perhaps live, because there's what I know I know and what I don't know I know when I actually come together with you in serving humanity, I get to see myself more clearly. And so I enjoy that process. It interests me to recognize the areas that still need to be brought forward. So those areas of compromise were there because I knew, like you do, what love is. My mom showed it to us. It's innately in our hearts. And yet, perhaps I dwelt in areas of shadow and darkness. My last name's Gay, and I went to an old boys' school with 1,215 other boys in this country, and had labels put on my name and also on where I came from in, inside this country. 
And so I rebelled and became a rock and roll promoter. And then I went to the States and managed Cher, who was a great person that understood how to smash through limiting beliefs. Coalition of Sonny and Cher was fantastic. But three years later, she's playing in a band all by herself called Black Lace, and there's seven people in the audience, and no one in the world wants to buy her records. The coalition with Francis Ford Coppola said, you can act. And so she went into the acting world and co created with some amazing actors like Meryl Streep and Suspect and, and Nicolas Cage and Moonstruck, where she told the world to snap out of it and won an Oscar. We need each other. We need to ask each other for help. Often it's very difficult for us to ask for help, and yet it's important. So, in the compromise would lead to places of inner conflict, just like this world has had, and an outer crisis would emerge occasionally. Not necessarily big ones, but just inside of me, I knew that this was not accurate. And because I wasn't conscious at the time, I would inevitably find myself in this issue. And there was a many, many periods of my life where the issue was the issue. And I'd point a finger in anger, or I'd blame myself, or I'd blame myself for not being you. And I had to judge, because there's no way I was going to look at it for myself. And then there was a moment when I woke up, and uh, I released myself from buffers to my feelings. It's great to feel to shift out of judgment and just to allow feelings to come forward. It can be painful. It has to be very courageous. This country has to be very courageous to look at itself. And so in that place, I was able to then go to a place from where my mind, and it's very interesting that later in my life, I was involved with mind clearing, because their minds were in my mind, in my own mind. And through, through this, through looking at it for myself, at that point, point of choice where I said, no, God, get me out of it, or no, it serves me to be lesser than, I can live this way. Just like we have a society in many ways, we've known that a lot of things haven't been accurate. There are a lot of things that we don't know about, we are just in a trance. But there came a point where, and this is where we're getting to as a generation, it doesn't matter whether you're in Manchester or Liverpool, or, or whether you're in England, or Africa, or South America, or Australia, that has no relative anymore as to, to the territory of where we are. And so that place of choice, in the end, said, instead of going that way, it went this way. And so my heart reopened, because compassion is inevitable when you look at it for yourself. It's going to be very interesting looking at this political stuff that's going on here with the Liberals and the Labour and the Conservatives is they're actually forcing themselves to look at things that perhaps they're not weren't going to do last week. It's going to be very interesting to see how this country emerges over the next few weeks.